Forms are an integral part of any marketing software. And today I'm going to compare ClickFunnels 2.0 with Go High Level Forms. Let's get started. Let's jump into the editor and take a look around. First up, let's go into high level. You'll notice here on the left hand side under sites, there is a menu bar here and we're going to come over and look at forms. First, we can see there's a builder, there's a place to analyze, and there's also a place for submissions. So let's take a look at the builder first. The builder has quite a bit of customization capabilities. Let's take a look at this lead generation form here. We have the ability to add many standard fields into a form along with adding in custom fields. What I think helps Go High Level stand out with regards to forms is the ability to add on custom fields. If we take a look at custom fields, you can see there are a multiple of different options available to us. And we can put a checkbox in and go ahead and hit next. And then here we can say, um, are you using high level, which we've already got. So they will, let's spell it right. Let's put currently. And then I can put it as a contact general info or additional info. I'm going to put it under additional info. And then here we're going to put yes, and I'm going to add in a no. And there are options as well for additional preferences. This really starts to make the software very, very sexy with the ability with so many customizations. It's almost endless. It takes a minute for that field to pop in over here. And then what I do is I'm just going to drag it in and it gives me the capability of having both. And then I can also add in a standard text field just above that's going to ask that question. So if I go ahead and I'm not going to save it because I already have that ability here with a custom piece, a custom field. So I'm going to jump over here to funnels and we're just going to go, okay. And we're going to take a look at this form test one. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And let's put my name, let's put my email. I'm in here once, so let's put a plus one. And I'm going to put yes. And then get your trial today. And that'll run me to the next page, my thank you page. But what I want to do now is I want to jump over to contacts. I want to take a look at this one here. This is the one that I just entered. And then under additional info, are you using go high level? You can see where that has filled in. That's very sexy versus what we see over with ClickFunnels. Let's jump over into their editor. When we come into Sites and Funnels, what we have to do is jump here to a funnel. There's a website here as well, but let's jump into the funnel and let's take a look at the capabilities at this time with a form. The 2.0 is very different than it was previously, so let's go ahead and click Edit. And I do have the capabilities to add in a form. This one is in the pop-up, but let's go ahead and add in a new element. So the first thing it's going to ask me for is an input box. So here's my first input box. Did it come in? I do find that it is just a smidge glitchy. There we go. So we've got this one and we've opened it up and then the input type these are the pieces that I'm able to add in at this time for a form. So I can do full name, first name, last name, etc. And there are some custom types here as well. And I could put here that I have, um, I need your birthday, just say for example. So I can change that to required and then I can edit my label. So I can say that this is your birthday. So you can see here it's popped in as birthday. And then the next thing I would do is I would have to add in a button so that that would submit. Now I do have a button here for the pop up. So you can see immediately that my form is already very basic and the capabilities to do an application form or to put different forms on different sites. Very, very challenging. Now there is code here as well that you could do some custom styles, etc. But I don't see a place where I am able to take that form and embed it like I do over here on high level. When I come back to sites and I jump over to my form builder, what I can do is I can integrate this form with this code. So with any HTML, JavaScript, 
little block, I can add this form. Now, probably ClickFunnels does have a JavaScript element, but being able to add it in other places as well, I'm sure that that is possible. So there's quite a significant difference between the capabilities of the forms. Also, if we jump over and we take a look at a submission of the form under a contact here, the contact form doesn't give us as much capability either, although we can see where I was entering into the funnel, etc., which I can see over on Go High Level as well. If I click into my contact record, I can see the path that I took. So ClickFunnels is doing a great job trying to pull this in a place where everything is in one place. It's definitely an improvement, but I think for forms, Go High Level does take the cake on this one with the capabilities of the builder and analyzation as well. There are so many analytics available inside of High Level and Forms is one more place where we are able to take a look and see which forms are performing better. And then I can also see all of my submissions based on all forms or based on one form at a time. Gives me a lot more data. Reason my Go High Level is called Client Tracks is because I want to be able to track my information, my data, my clients. I want to know at all times where everything is at. And I think, hands down, Forms within High Level is the number one choice. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns that you would like to speak to me about, please go ahead and contact me down below. I'd love to get you started.